The question before the voting public in America and elsewhere today is to what extent, if at all, marijuana should be legalized. Two states uh, agreed that it ought to be legalized. I believe they were uh, Oregon, Montana, um, or Colorado, one of those two out of those three. And obviously this is going to be a referendum issue in other states. States, of course, ought to have the right to decide what drugs are legal in their own state. So the principle of voting per state makes sense. By contrast, this is the National Institutes of Health, which is not a political organization. And it basically has some research here on what marijuana does and doesn't do. So if you are in your state and you have to make a uh, decision about whether to vote for or against the legalization of marijuana, you're going to want to look at this. It starts off by saying what marijuana is, then it goes into how it's abused, then it goes into what it does to your brain, and then it goes down here saying that, you know, there's a problem. We, that we've done a lot of studies on this and there's a problem with behavior. Of course, you can argue, well, alcohol causes a problem also, and the answer to that, of course, is yes. Um, there are other health effects of marijuana on driving, which are actually a little worse than with alcohol. 